I just moved it. Was like, it recording? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's fine. Yeah. Okay. What was our intro last time? Hi guys! Hello! I am Beth. And I am Mel. And we're gonna make a video to try and help you lovely people <laughs> about five things to remember in whilst, eating disorder. Whilst recovering. recovering from an eating disorder. Yeah. We just really want this to help you and yeah, yeah. this are things we like to remember. So number one, your body knows what it is doing, so trust your body. If your body gains a bit more weight when you think you've reached like a set point, then trust your body that that's the way it wants and needs and clearly, you know, that wasn't your set point. Sometimes a set point can change and your body will just, you know, have what it needs. Your body knows what it's doing to keep you alive, like, it's a clever thing and if you gain a little bit more weight than you're comfortable with, I know that it's hard to accept, but your body is trying its best to keep you healthy and happy and making you able to thrive in life. Try and embrace it. Yeah. Number, Number two! two. <laughs> Please. One. One bad day does not lead to another. Um, in recovery, you're always going to have your down days. It's never all going to be 100% positive. But what you have to remember on those days is that this isn't your life, your life isn't now this low. You can go to bed that night and wake up the next, making it better than the day before. If you have a bad day eating wise, if you have a blip and you fail, it doesn't mean that you should stop recovery and give up because recovery isn't meant for you because it is. Recovery is meant for everyone. Exactly. No one deserves to be living with an eating disorder. So just write off that day as a bad day and start again tomorrow. And if you do feel really sad, you often feel like this is forever, but it's not, it's never gonna last. Like, never. Number three. Three. <laughs> Number, four. Number three. Number three. Happiness does not depend on aesthetics. You are the only one who cares how you look. No one else cares how you look. Everyone else is probably thinking the same. Everyone's thinking about how they look. No one is purposely trying to look to see if you've changed or if you've gained weight. Mm -hmm. And no one is taking any notice of that. They're just and happy to see you. They're just happy to talk to you. And no one really cares. It doesn't change who you are. You're never gonna say, oh, she looks healthy now, I can't be her friend anymore. They, they want you to look healthy. And I know how it feels walking down the street. You're always looking at people, looking if they have a thigh gap, looking if they're bigger or smaller than you, but that's not a normal thing to do. And just think before you were ill, you wouldn't walk down the street comparing yourself to everyone. You didn't care and that's how it should be. And no one else is gonna look at you and care. Exactly. Number four. <laughs> four. Eating disorders are not your purpose in life. Things only have meanings because you give them meaning. And fear foods are only fear foods because you've made them a fear. And you only have an eating disorder because, well, that's, you've given things purpose that don't need to have purpose. Just don't give an eating disorder a meaning to be in your life, don't give it a meaning. It's only trying to kill you, make you miserable. Don't let it do it. You can, you've got this one life, you can make it whatever you want, do what you want with it. Don't choose anorexia or any eating disorder as its meaning. Number five. five. <laughs> Trust the people around you trying to save you, not your eating disorder that is trying to kill you. When you have the eating disorder voices in your head, that's obviously what you're gonna feel like. You should trust because it's you, but if everyone around you is telling you that it's telling you lies, um, trust the people who are trying to save your life. They wouldn't make the effort to save you for the fun of it. They mean what they're saying. You need to recover and beat these voices in your head. Your eating disorder is only trying to kill you, so the more logical people in this equation are the people who care about you. We really hope these five things helped you. Yes. 
and try your best to remember them. Obviously recovery isn't easy, it's a long journey, but everyone can do it. It's not impossible and so many people have done it and you will do it. <laughs> So. And also remember that you are beautiful. You're fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> and you can do this. I know. You can. And we love you. <laughs> we love you lots. We love you. <laughs> I hope you like this video. Yes. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that stopping? Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that stopped. <laughs> You're such a little... It hasn't stopped. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Why isn't it stopping? Oh, I'm pressing... I'm pressing the wrong button. Well done, me. I'm going home. Bye! <laughs>